Hi friends, welcome to Circle Time. Hello, hello, how are you? Hello, hello, how are you? How are you this special day? I'm so glad you're here today. Hello, hello, how are you? I hope you guys are having a great day today and you're enjoying the packets that went home yesterday. There's some fun projects in there this week. Um, let's get started with our counting, okay? Yesterday was the number 16. Do you know what number comes after 16? Let's count and see if you're right, ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. All right. And let's count in Spanish, okay? Uno, dos, tres. Cuatro, cinco, seis. Siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, Doce, trece, catorce, quince, dieciséis, dieciséisiete. All right. Um, friends, we have been working up with the letter B this week. Do you remember that? Let's see. Let's read our B poem that came in your packet yesterday. B is for butterflies flying in the air. B is for buttons found here and there. B is for bears found everywhere. We find bears in our rooms, our teddy bears. There's bears that live out in the wild and at the zoo, right? All right, let's look at some other words that start with B. Do you remember what sound the B makes? B, bears, B says B. The B says B, the B says B. Every letter makes a sound. The B says B. All right. Um, so we talked about some words that start with B, right? This is a B butterfly and a bike. B bike. B bread. B B. B basketball. There's two B words in that, isn't there? B, basket, and ball. Basketball. And broccoli, right? There's also, in our big poster, we saw a B, bus, and B, boots, and bear. Lots of B words out there, isn't there? Yes, there is. All right, friends. I hope you're practicing writing your letter Bs that we did yesterday. We're going to practice in our, in our circle time tomorrow again, okay? I want to sing a song, though, right now. This one is, well, it's kind of a poem, kind of a song, kind of a rhyme kind of thing. Um, it is, There Was an Old Lady Who Swallowed a Fly. So this is the original. We've read some books, some silly ones that... The old, the old lady swallows some snow and some leaves. And we're going to read another one tomorrow. That's super fun. Um, but this one is the original. There was an old lady who swallowed a fly. Okay? It goes like this. There was an old lady who swallowed a fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll cry. And here's the fly. We're going to put him right here. Okay, I'm going to put my words up so that I can see them. There was an old lady who swallowed a spider. It wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll cry. There was an old lady who swallowed a bird. How a uh oh. How absurd to swallow a bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. 
I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll cry. There was an old lady who swallowed a cat. Fancy that she swallowed a cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll cry. There was an old lady who swallowed a dog. What a hog to swallow a dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spi spider that wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. Oh my goodness, I'm losing all my pieces. Let's put the cat back and the spider back. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll cry. There was an old lady who swallowed a cow. I don't know how she swallowed a cow. She swallowed the cow to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wiggled and jiggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed the fly. Perhaps she'll cry. There was an old lady who swallowed a horse. She cried, of course. How silly. Can someone really swallow all of these things? I don't think so. Do you think so? I don't know. All right, friends. I have a book I want to read to you. This one is some more poems, but they're all about pets, okay? So this book is called A Fuzzy Flash Fast Blur, Poems About Pets, and it's by Laura Purdy Salas, okay? She wrote the book. I don't know who took all the pictures. Maybe she took the pictures too, because these are actual pictures of dogs and cats and other fun pets. Look at those dogs, aren't they cute? I love dogs. Slobbery is the name of this poem. It says, some think I wear a constant frown. It's just my tongue that wiggles, weighs me down. It's, I love to loll and pant and drool and from a swish and form a swishy foamy pool of spit that I cannot keep in. It makes me smile a happy grin. I have a lot of tongue, it's true. Shall I share a lick with you? Dogs like to lick people. It's their thing. Catching up on your rest. It's been a long and busy day. It's passed by in a blur. It started when you scratched my neck and stroked my silky fur. You could tell we liked that by our deep and rumbly purr. You told us we're your favorite pets. Of course, we knew we were. It's two sweet cats of slop. It's two sweet cats or slobbering dogs. Who also could you, who, el who else could you prefer? But now we're tired of being loved. We're much too sleepy to stir. Here's another pet, a bird. It says, perched on me. You stare in the mirror and eat wicker baskets and mimic me blowing my nose. You're noisy and messy, but still you're my favorite as long as you don't bite my toes. Ooh, look at that one, it's a rabbit. Softness. Faithful furry friends, you cuddle my happiness, cushion my sadness. Aww. You have to smile when you see how cute he is, huh? Come in, come in. 
I'll make it easy. I'll open wide. I'll hope that you will slide inside. Snakes eat mice. Some find that sad. But here's the truth. They don't taste bad. Oh my goodness. That snake has a mouse in his mouth. He's eating a mouse. Friendship skills, lesson one. A guinea pig nibbled her carrot. Another said, stop, I can't bear it. I hate to be rude, but my belly needs food. So the first pig agreed and she, she would share it. That's a good idea for, for being a good friend. This one is a close look at a goldfish. It's a, it has a different word for every word of the word, every letter of the word goldfish. They're glowing, orange, lacy, delicate, fanning, iridescent, shimmering, and hovering. Those all describe what a goldfish is, don't they? A bundle of air energy. Do you remember what this is called? Some of you got to see one of these in our Zoom last week. Oh, I think there was only a couple of you on it. But it's called a ferret. Teacher Rachel knows somebody that has a ferret. And they came to our, our Zoom last week. Bundle of energy. Slick streak of fur. I race and I climb. A fuzzy fast blur. I burrow, I chew things, I crawl, and I leap. Exhaustion takes over. I'm ready to... Do you think you fell asleep? Oh my goodness. Very scary, hairy pet. It's time my tarantula's terrible hairy. It's true my tarantula is terribly hairy. He's gray like a shadow, he's Halloween scary. I like that my spider looks gruesome and tough because now both my parents stay out of my stuff. Would you want a tarantula for a pet? Not me. No, thank you. <laughs> Reach. What are these? Turtles. Turtles stretch, craving shining sun lamps, glow, dry wrinkling skin, soaked up warm, basking. They're stretching up to the light to get the heat. Say yes. You said no to the orca or bathtubs too small. Our, our bathtubs too small. And no to the stallion. He needs his own stall. You said no to the spider, those long hairy legs. And no to the tortoise. She digs to lay eggs. You said to the tiger, he eats bloody meat. And no to the skunk. She smells like old feet. But this elephant is per perfect. He's easy to groom. I'm, I'll clean up his mess. You can, he can live in my room. Please? Can an elephant be a pet? No. They live in the wild or in the zoo, huh? Oh, look at these two. What kind of pets are these? Pretty in pink. I started yellow, went through blue and several other colors too. Each time I grow, my owner paints a bigger shell. I, I've no complaints. My shell is never dull or drab, for I'm a rainbow hermit crab. Huh. A perfect pocket pet. It's a pet rock. Did you know you can go outside and grab a rock and make it your pet? Pretty cool, huh? No cage, no accidents, no smelly, icky chores, no running away. It's all yours, Rock Pet. All right, let's do one more maybe, or maybe two. Partners, you are bigger than me, but I always feel safe by your side. I lead you, I groom you, I ride you, but I know the truth. You take care of me too. Oh, Our pets kind of take care of us too sometimes. Our dogs watch out for us, yeah. Jumping for joy, tail spinning, whooping, joy meets toy in mid-air catch. 
Leap for Summer Faith. All right, that looks like that's the end. And this talks about poetry and, and what it is and how you can write a poem. Okay? All right, friends, that is our circle time for today. I hope you had fun, and I will see you again tomorrow. Okay? Bye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye, you guys.